Miranda Parkin, Miranda Parkin, the goat, by the way. She did an amazing job with the with the voice of the character we're going to meet. She sounds like fucking Peridot, and I love her for that. Shok is so based. Look at her. Like, we just have to look at Shoka for a bit, okay? Everybody just... Everybody just... If my sticks would stop drifting so we can focus on Shoka's face. Um, based on this dick. Uh, anyway. Based on Mr. Mew, that's the right answer. <laughs> really? You hope not? Are you even trying to win? You, like, do you realize that being stuck in dead last literally makes you two the biggest losers? Are you familiar with the, um, with the reality show of the same name, Biggest Loser? Which was, which was literally just a game show about weight loss. It literally had a Wii game that used the Wii Fit board. We did own it. It was a lot less fun than Wii Fit was. This side or the other side, gotta make up your mind. Oh, Cannon's here. Que? There she is. God, Fret. Fret, listen. Do not be driven by your libido, Fret. Focus. How goes the letter hunt, boys? Made any progress? Yep. Uh, well, actually, no. But more like, not no, no, more like, yes, no, shut the, sh Fred, what are you talking about? I just, it's insane, it's insane that they were like, yeah, so the team, the team is a fashionista and her gay best friends. She's literally, she's, she's literally like, She's literally some kind of straight chick that gets followed around by a bunch of gay best friends like they are like they are possessions and items and it's wild. Okay, so your favorite thing from here is the fearless fish wish. Okay. And show. I'm trying to figure out what his excited face looks like. Because he's always like this, so I can't tell. Is this... Is this his good reaction? Is this his reaction for favorites? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, that is his tasty bonus reaction. <laughs> he's so funny. He looks like he's just like, yeah, that's okay. We didn't make it. I want Hachiko to sniff my hand. Or butt? Weird. Pretty weird. You're not picky. Interesting, interesting choice. Dogs do that, it's friendly, but not to like people. They do actually terrifying. Why would you let a dog do that to you? Just, that's too close. That's too close. I, I think that might be a you problem, what? Yes, I, on this one, on this one, I think I will victim blame. Yes. That Reaper owns stocks. Owns stocks in Jolly Beckett. Okay, of course, of course there's noise. Good job, Fret. You did it again. I keep saying all of all of Fret's like all of the like mandatory battles that we run into 
are because Fret just got bored or whatever. My rules? Get to the meeting spot one hour early. Wait there patiently. Smile and tell your friends they ju you just got there. That's... Hmm. Don't do that. You. I have no preferences when it comes to fashion. The only thing I prefer is having no preference. That's why I love Shepherd House. She's literally... Uh, she's literally, like, so into Fire Emblem Heroes, it hurts. And it's not good for her. Gambling addiction. Gotcha, woman. You know, I'm thinking about it. It takes, it takes Rindo an absurdly long amount of time to tell anybody else that he's rewinding time. I just want to point that out. Like, it's not like Fret wouldn't believe him, right? It's not like Fret wouldn't believe him. He just doesn't talk about it. Which is a character flaw. It is it is a character flaw and it's a good character flaw that he that he is so he's so detached that he doesn't think he should feel the need to tell people these things. Huh? And like Okay, so not to be like, kids are always on their damn phones, but Rindo is, in fact, one of those kids who is always on their damn phone. Yes. Comrades, we must retreat. This is the Fire Emblem chapter. In, in modern Fire Emblem, they want, they want so hard to have recurring villains without making any, like, generals that you kill along the way or whatever. So they're like, I can't fall here. I must retreat for like five fucking chapters. Promo menus always have that one thing that unironic looks on yummy as hell. I mean, true. But do you have to eat it out of like baby silverware though? Like we literally gave Fret a meal for toddlers. I think of it. Who are you? I did it. I changed the future. This is such a game to play while we get ready for Xenoblade, huh? I mean, only the first game was about was about changing the future cuz Xenoblade 2 was like Let me let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Xenoblade 2 is so devoid of anything. That when people tell me what the themes of Xenoblade 2 are, they call Boy Meets Girl a theme. But, like, we can we can probably save a lot of my, like, Xenoblade 2 dunking for when 3 comes out. Because at that point, at that point, um, every aspect that is from 2 that sucks, I can yell about. But it will be improved from 2, so it will be better. And it will be so, it will be so good instead. It'll be the best game ever made instead of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is just kind of a video game. Whoa. You know, I was thinking, maybe I should, um, maybe I should edit these down, upload them to, uh, upload them to the main channel. Because people were talking about, like, yeah, I should make videos other than Vanguard videos every once in a while. Lord Rindo, was it? I, I bet, I bet she calls him some shit, like... Rindo dono in Japanese. Like I, I bet she, I bet she talks like a samurai. <laughs> Must need seize the chance to gaze upon him again. We accept the young master. It's like everyone, everyone in this game is ruled by their fucking thirst. By the way, like they are so, so horny. Nasty Nagi. 
I sure hope so. Especially since now we're stuck with her. Yo, listen, I can't stand and I oop because I, I had I had kids in my high school who would just for no reason in class go and I oop all the time. Repeatedly. Like that like I had I had people I had people in my high school who were intentionally like visco girl parodies. But they didn't stop. Time for day four. So, we made it to day four. Yep, That's what I said. Sure when has show ever been horny? Wait. He's horny for math! We've been over this! You see, the Reaper's game goes for seven. Does Rindo get horny? Um... I mean... Not that I'm aware of. He's older than us? Have you not... Have you not seen Rindo texting, like, his Minecraft girlfriend every day? Speaking of, when might his lordship be returning? Hopefully sooner rather than later. Okay, I gotta know. What what weird fix have people written about Sho and, uh, about Sho and Nagi? Well, like, I gotta know. I'm sure people have written Sho Nagi fix, but, like, I need to know what the weirdest one is. Okay? I need to know what the weirdest one is. Looks like we got a message. Yo! Yeah. Oh, hi there. He doesn't communicate information to his Minecraft girlfriend either. You know, don't you remember? No, we do. Your frontier disc. You got nothing but potential. Oh, and frontier discs, you say. You are just attaching adjectives to try and make it about Othello, but it's Nagi is toast fic? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to, now I have to guess what the Nagi is toast fic is. Is that? So if I had to guess, if I had to guess, this is someone, this was, this is someone's oddly specific vor fic in which Nagi is a slice of toast and Sho is having breakfast. Is this real? Or did I just create something more cursed than could possibly exist? I ain't saying it, just strongly implying it. Based. He puts mayonnaise on her? Wait, this is real? Not a metaphor? No way! Okay, hold on. I need to know I need to know about the about the Nagi toast fic. Give me a second. I need to know I listen, we were going to read the Nagi toast fic on stream. We were going to stop what we were doing and read the Nagi toast fic, but I guess if it doesn't exist, we won't do that. Okay, so I have to put some thought into what I pick. Uh, we'll take... So, I guess we just won't use the HP viewer. But we will use... We will get hard mode. And we'll get regroup and retry for, just for convenience sake. But because I'm not... Because I'm not 100%ing this, um, I can't... I can't just do all of the... Um, I can't, I can't just put everything on everything. My Twitch mod gaslit me, Nagi Toast Vic, not clickbait. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of them that are listed as crossovers because they, because they are Kingdom Hearts fix that feature Twelve characters. Hey, it just occurred to me. If like, so I wonder, I, I wonder if just like any Square Enix RPG is fair game or if they only brought in Neku because of, um, because of, uh, Nomura being the being the character designer for Twowie. Because if it's anything, if if it's that any Square RPG is fair game, I would love to um, I would love to see like. 
I don't know, Primrose from Octopath Traveler. And here's the funny thing about Octopath Traveler, right? Is the main character of Octopath Traveler is whichever one you start with. So everyone has a personal bias towards who they think is the who they think is the main character in Octopath Traveler. And to me it's Primrose, because I started with her. I can't wait for like I don't know, um who 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 would it be? Like, I don't know, Uzuki to show up and be like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, and then Rindo would be like I, hold on, let me text my Minecraft girlfriend, and then her phone rings. And then, and then she's like, you think I'm your Minecraft girlfriend? <laughs> sorry, I, I had to, I had to, sorry, I know, I know there's, there's, there's an age gap I don't support in that, in that joke. Um, I needed to find somebody who definitely wasn't Swallow so I could make that joke, because apparently, because apparently you don't know. <laughs> we are we are so bad. Look. Whoopsies. I didn't mean that. Look at the look at this graph. This is the ruin bringers, right? And then this is us. We suck so bad. What? Say I know you three. You're players, aren't you? Huh? All right, then time for a quiz. Three. Your timer starts now. <laughs> Lord Rindo. <laughs> quiz Academy, Quiz Academy Queen Quizster? Let's look it up. The title of Queen Quizster is awarded to any player that tops the leaderboards for 10 weeks running. Ready for your quiz? Oh yeah! Which of the following following products is a palindrome? Okay. So this one this one is 252. So this this is still the answer. Next question. Which breed of dog is in the it has a bronze statue in front of Shibuya Station? Um I'm pretty sure Hachiko is a Shiba. What sword in the skies above Hachiko in... There's no way, there's no way there's a flying train. This is a trick question. Heavens. What? Uh... <laughs> what? Hold on. I have to Google what kind of dog Hachiko is. He's an Akita Inu. How did he do this? Hey, does anyone know how he did this? How did he get things into a vending machine? You have to spend $50? You have to spend... I cannot believe this man. To obtain his phone number, you do have to spend $50 at a vending machine. It's not even... You don't even give him $50. You just spend it... <sighs> fine, fine. Take, fine. Take the money. Fine. And, like, spending $50 is not the riddle. You still have to... <sighs> and it's bad? Oh, hold on. Spending $50 is the riddle. Why didn't they just pour it on the ground? Oh, sick. He gave us $50. <laughs> It's still insane that that you that to to um 
to 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 partake in Ryoji's riddles, you must have a net worth of at least fifty dollars. You don't lose that fifty dollars, but you must have fifty dollars. Okay, what's the puzzle this time? If A equals one, C equals three, D equals four, then what does G equal? So, um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Seven? That's really easy. Come on! Come on! We just got done playing Virtue's Last Reward! You're gonna need to step up your game if you want to confuse me! Rindo! Christ! Rindo! You just had to ask your Minecraft girlfriend about it because you needed an excuse to talk. Yeah, how many phone numbers does this guy have? That means like every variation you could possibly get wrong. is Because here, here's the thing, right? Is I understand having it exactly backwards. No, I don't. Why would you do that? Why would you, why would you also why would you get a phone number that is also that is the phone number you plan on using but exactly backwards? But at least that one begins to make sense. Every presumably every other permutation of this phone number that could possibly exist is still his number. Which, like, at that point, at that point, why bother with this? Is he gonna blow? Is this one gonna blow up? Are we at the point where this one blows up? Yeah, that's so expensive. It costs so much money to, like, how much does it already cost to have a phone, right? We need to start dodging. We're not doing great today. Uh-oh. We are taking poison damage. Oh, we are dying. We're dead. We done goofed on this one. Yeah, I wasn't paying enough attention. Is there... No, we gotta take it. Yeah, yeah, we gotta run this one back. If that number already belongs to someone, you have to bribe them. But like, sure, we'll we'll waste we'll waste a pin slot on on the T Gray Punk's healing pin for right now, and that's fine. This seems a rather risky endeavor. We should go after the pufferfish first this time. Like the bird, the bird is just the bird is just a big version of a noise we know we can deal with. See how much faster this is going when we uh, when we prioritize the puffer fish. Ow! Yeah, sure, we'll tap this. Oh, yeah, that heal. Listen, taking the heal actually wasn't worth it. Do you see how small that heal is? That's like nothing. So far, so 
It's gonna blow! My pet is choosing to be an animal again today. I sure hope your pet's an animal, because I don't like the alternative! Just not the biggest fan of that, I'll say. Oh, Onimaru evolves also? Let's go. What now? Could choose to become a protozoa at any point. Wait! Not so fast. What yeah, her points. <laughs> yeah, he lied, idiots. I can't believe you just really fell for it. A textbook swindle. We fell for one of the classic blunders! At first I was just gonna have a friendly chat, player to player. But then I saw how gullible you were and I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I uh, so it was all a lie, the points, the Privileges, everything? Yup, a big fat lie, and you fell for it! Oh man, I knew it was too good to be true. Seriously? Oh, what's the matter? You mad, bro? Well, what are you gonna do about it? If it's a fight you're looking for, I'm raring and ready to go. Uh, uh, give us a break, beat brain, we're beat. Easy there, fella. Ain't no need to add injury to insult. Oh? Hey, look! Hey, look! It's our best friend! He's a brave man. <laughs> you Southsiders ain't having any fun, so you won't let us have none either, huh? Uh, are you two, like, teammates or something? <laughs> Afraid not, man. I'm flying solo today. Nice to meet you, though. Koki Kari is the name. Hey, Karia. <laughs> I know better than to make any loud moves with a Reaper around. But I gotta say, there's something strange about those powers of yours. A minute to pick up, a lifetime to perfect. Let's just hope you just learn to let loose before the week's over. Or before someone... Yeah, the new vest is great. Well, that's my cue. Okay, later. Hey, uh, thanks for stepping in back there. No need to thank me, man. Just doing my reaperly job for once. <laughs> so this guy's a reaper too. Before window, today's results are in. The Deep River Society managed to take down the target, but they couldn't unseat the Ruin Bringers from the top spot. Really grinds my gears that those liars are still winning. Eh, don't sweat it. Just think of this as a learning opportunity, kid. It's a okay, Karia. World out there. Let your guard down, and someone's liable to swoop in and take a bite. Gotta know who's got your back, and who's just looking to stab it. You're considerably more forthcoming with advice than the other Reapers. That's because the other Reapers aren't as tired of seeing the same team on top as I am. Figured I'd lend some fresh faces a hand, shake things up, maybe even get you kids to ruin the Ruin Bringers. You feel me, man? I don't know. I feel like you're trying to trick us too, man. <laughs> nah, nah, it's Karia. We can trust him. Bad, kid. Sounds like you learned your lesson after all. Didn't realize we'd be tested so soon. Well, you better get used to it, kid. Because this is just the beginning. You've got some pretty big shoes to fill here in Shibuya. Oh? Yep. We had a player come through once who ended up flipping the entire game right on its head. Man, what a riot that was. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of trouble you stir up. The more trouble, the better, I'd say. <laughs> God, this dude. It's 
seems irresponsible of him to encourage us to make mischief. He's looking for a show, right? Might as well give him what he wants. Yeah, but we've got big shoes to fill. Yes, that player sounded like quite the living legend. Dang, a living legend? Like Napoleon or something. He is... I will say, um... He hasn't been for several centuries. Ah, you're right. He must have been thinking of someone else. No, 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 Fred, you're thinking of Napoleon Dynamite. Now that was cold. Damn! I humbly disagree. Then we agree to disagree. It's from Swallow. I will say it, it's a they they hype Naku up a bit too much. That's like it, it, it kind of backs off after a while, but like at first he's a bit too hyped. Tetsuya Nomura 2000's big shoes. Does that mean Swallows here in the UG too? Um. Hmm. Well, we got Karia on the social network. What else is there tonight? Hey, there's somebody. <laughs> 